Hello YouTube, this is going to be a love reading for the sign of cancer for June 2017. I am going to be using the Romance Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. I'm trying a little bit of a different angle here to see the cards a little better. So we'll see how this goes. If this doesn't work, I'll go back to my old angle. But anyways, I just want to tell you guys that um, I've only been on YouTube since like April. Um, I'm up to 2,000 something subscribers. It's been insane. But um, I've been swamped with personal reading. So if this reading resonates you, please go ahead and like and subscribe and email me for a personal reading. All of the information for personal readings are in the description box below. You can go ahead and email me at saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit Guides and Angels, this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer for June 2017. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Cancer for June 2017. Let's see what Spirit has to tell you guys. This is again for the sign of cancer for love june 2017 what messages do you have for them what do they need to know what are they allowed to know <coughs> for cancer love june 2017 Now, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, not all readings are going to resonate with everyone. You know, I get a lot of mean comments sometimes by people saying that this reading didn't resonate. I'm so glad I didn't pay. You know, we do these readings for free every month. And those are really for people who cannot afford monthly readings or, per excuse me, those are for people who cannot afford personal readings. You know, it takes a lot of time to do free monthly readings. That's 12 zodiac signs. It takes time to video it. It takes time to edit it. And it also takes time to upload it onto YouTube. You know, so we do this to try and help those who need the help. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos also, you know, tarot card readings. And I can tell you guys right now, not all of them resonate with me. You know, you just got to find a reader that resonates with you and get a personal reading. And then if they don't resonate with you, you move on and you try and find someone that does resonate with you. It's just how it works. But, you know, I really do appreciate all of the people that take the time to leave comments. I really do. I'm sorry, I feel like all of those want to come out. more cards please there they are all right the cards look great so far we're also going to be pulling clarifiers off of the traditional rider weight tarot deck let's just go ahead and see what spirit has to tell us a bit of a clarification now, if you guys can see the cards already on the table, some mixed, mixed things going on here. But for the most part, only two cards, the first two cards, you know, are not the best, but they're not the worst. Okay, the first card that popped up was codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Second card is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and pull clarifiers again for those cards, but I gotta tell you guys, <clears throat> for those of you that are in relationships, I don't want you to freak out when you see the unrequited love card. There it is, twin flame sign. And that so happens to be on the unrequited love. I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit more what I think it is, what I feel like it is, not exactly what you think. You know, it's not always the case. Spirit, this is for Cancer for June 2017 for love. We're focusing mainly on twin flames, soulmates, and karmic partners. What messages do you have for the sign of Cancer and for those watching for the sign of Cancer? What messages do you have? Justice. All right. They're flying out. The cards look beautiful. They are mixed. The cards look beautiful. I'm going to pull two clarify, excuse me, I'm going to pull clarifiers. Wow. I flew out. And that is on top of calling in your soulmate, the last card. But for codependency and unrequited love, I'm going to pull clarifiers immediately for those cards. Just because I feel it's necessary. I usually wait to the end. Um, sometimes I feel like they need to come out right away. We'll see. We'll see what the purpose is for these. Sorry, guys. The shuffling sometimes takes the longest, but people want to see these cards come up. They want to see the shuffle. You know, for myself, I don't really particularly care, but people want to see the shuffle. Okay, guys. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, it's more than I expected. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to actually put these down here. First card again is codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. It is followed or coupled, I should say, with the seven of cups. Codependencies do not have to be substance abuse. It do not have to be drugs. They don't have to be alcohol. They could be. Codependencies also are just things that you're addicted to, things that you're having a hard time letting go of. Some people are codependent in just their way of living, you know, living independently, codependent on the partner that they've been with for five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty 10, 20 years. But it is also coupled with the seven of cups. Cups are about emotions. This is the card of choosing between new beginnings and letting go. New beginnings. Choosing between the two. Crescent moon symbolizes a new beginning. Full moon symbolizes releasing and letting go. So this is a time, and it's your very first card that pops up, which means you guys have work to do on it. It's your, it's your very first message. Choosing between letting go of what no longer serves and allowing for new beginnings. It is also coupled with the unrequited love card. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going with the two of pentacles. Pentacles are earth signs, but this is also my sign for twin flames because it is the infinity symbol. Unrequited love. First of all, I'm going to go through these clarifiers for those two cards and tell you what I feel off of them. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning with something earthly, financial, a job, some kind of a new beginning to do with money. It's something like that. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> You've got the Tower card. People are scared of the Tower card, but I got to be honest with you. 
The tarot card is not a scary card. It is scary at first. Yes, it is. But the thing about the tarot card is, is it comes in when it's time to realign you back on the path that you're supposed to be on. Some of us are on paths that we are not meant to be on and we see all the signs and we just refuse to acknowledge them. Tower comes in and boom, puts you right back on course. Are these two combined? <clears throat> they could be. Something could have happened that caused this, which leads to this, right? Now, how does unrequited love fall into that? We've got the high priestess. We've got the star card, which is Aquarius. We've also got the queen of wands. And we have the world. These cards for me, let's start with the high priestess. High Priestess is a card of knowing. She's, like I say, and I say it in every reading, she is a bad bitch. She is a bad bitch. She is a bitch who knows. She uses her intuition. She trusts her gut. She is balanced, black and white. She knows what she has to bring to the table because this bitch brings the table. You see what I'm saying? She is independent, she is strong, she is loving, but more importantly, she uses her intuition. I think the thing with this unrequited love for some of you guys, because it is connected to a twin flame card, I think some of you guys are not using your intuition. You're saying, no, it can't be, it can't be. Now they don't look like my usual type or there's, there's, there's this push-pull thing going on. You know, with twin flames, it's not an easy ride. It's not like meeting a soulmate. This is for some of you. This is not for all. Some of you, the initials B and J are going to be very relevant in some way, shape, or form. Now, some of you, your twin flame or the person that you are going to be meeting, it's going to be an Aquarius. This is also the card of wishing on a star, getting what you wished for. Queen of Wands, look at her. She sits on her throne, ready to make that decision. She doesn't question her decision. Wands are about action. She makes that decision based on what? Her intuition. Then you have the world card, getting everything you deserve. Things coming full circle, so to speak. Getting what you deserve. All right, now I'm going to put all these clarifiers on the side here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move on. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You know what's so funny? Hold on. I'm going to try something here. I feel like that's meant to be. I'm sorry, I'm going to read these a different way again. I felt like Spirit wanted me to place those cards that way. It's going to be a maybe same group, but I'm going to read it a little differently. Codependency. New beginnings, right? Choosing. What is going to be the new beginning? Is it going to be a release or is it going to not? Are you releasing to bring in new? The tower comes in to make this happen. The tower comes in to make this happen. The unrequited love is with the two of pentacles, the twin flame card with the high priestess. Again, using your intuition on this, one of you, maybe both of you, feel it could be not enough to keep it going. Doesn't necessarily have to be attraction, doesn't necessarily have to be the chemistry. If this is twin flame related, goddamn, good luck. People wish that they had a twin flame relationship. Guess what? It is not easy. <laughs> it's not. Use your, use your gut. Use your intuition. B and J is very relevant in some way, shape, or form for some of you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring with the Knight of Wands and the world, right? So this person that comes in, 
it's real what you feel is real this comes right after the unrequited love this is real if you're doubting what the other person feels for you or if you're doubting what you feel for them it's real use your intuition use your gut knight of wands is a card of action quick action for me it means quick followed by the world everything coming full circle everything coming full circle next set of cards is honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with justice and ace of pentacles the justice card is the card for libra now i've got to tell you guys something honeymoon card does not necessarily mean a literal honeymoon after you get married sometimes it means just that enjoying the bliss of holiday time together with your partner or alone because the justice card for me, because it's Libra, it symbolizes balance. Trying to find the balance. Some of you guys are extremely busy. Extremely. And you're trying to find the balance in this new relationship. You guys got new beginnings in some type of career. Some type of career. You're getting justice in that. Finally getting justice. Maybe some of you, it's a court case, right? You're getting money from that, settlements. Some of you, it's finally getting child support that you deserve. Some of you, it's just a new, better paying job. The career of your dreams. Some type of a new beginning that is divine, right? This is coming from the clouds. It's something that spirit is helping you with, guiding you, basically. Next set of cards is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings with the star. So someone met an Aquarius. Some of you Cancers have met an Aquarius or are going to be meeting an Aquarius. But again, it also is the card about wishing on a star and getting what you want. You also got the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory. This is a victory card. Victory in this new love. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So you guys are going to be having this conversation. It's right under unrequited love. It's going to be a lot of convos. Because <clears throat> I think that some of you guys have healing. Healing to do. Convos may not be very easy. But they need to happen. The Knight of Cups. It's you guys, right? water sign with the queen of wands the knight of cups is about an offering of love when you guys have this conversation it's like an offering of love admitting to each other this is what i feel tell me if i'm crazy tell me if i'm nuts <clears throat> right it's right underneath the two of pentacles card <clears throat> which is the card for twin flames tell me if i'm crazy tell me if i'm nuts but this is how i feel I know it's so new, it just happened, but this is how I feel. This is how I feel about you. Queen of Wands is about actions, right? Sure about her action. She doesn't question it. What she says goes. She's a bad bitch. This is action. You're going to be taking action, you're going to be okay with that. Next cards are flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others with the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys need to chill <laughs> or the person you've met needs to chill you guys need to just flirt be lighthearted, be playful be in the moment just be go with the flow ten of wands is a card of burden but it's a ten which means it's the end of it it's the end of it i think for some of you guys these heart-to-heart -heart conversations are going to be tough it's a burden they're going to be real tough but the end result is spirit wants you guys to just be, just be, be with each other, flirt, be lighthearted. <clears throat> your last set of cards are amazing. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together with the lovers. So some of you, this is a Gemini, of course, sun, moon, and rising. You guys have called this in. This is divine. This may not be for the same set of people for twin flames. It might not be. This could be for a whole different set of people. Could be the same. Listen, take what take what resonates with you. And you know, please always leave comments and let me know. And it also helps others watching the videos know. 
you know, what, what resonates with you guys. It's just really helpful to see other people are going through the same thing. These two set of cards are amazing together. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and end the reading like I always do with some advice cards off of the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue also. Don't you guys just love Doreen Virtue? Oh my God. Now these are just going to be some advice cards that Spirit wants you guys to know. Some things that you know you guys may need to work on. For you guys might need to be, you know, more balanced. Maybe opening up more. Maybe for your partner too, you know? You guys got new love coming in if it hasn't already. Now for me, I feel like when new love comes up or, you know, anything new that's happening or anything that's just recently happened, like the tower card, <clears throat> I feel like it's a three-month time frame. So it's within three months from today, whether it's past, whether it's present. If you haven't met your soulmate yet, chill. But the thing about it is, you know, to, to bring in your twin flame and soulmate and, you know, things like that, we've got to vibrate at the highest frequency of love. Like attracts like. Do you believe in law of attraction? Sorry, guys, I'm not feeling that at all. So if you want great love, guess what you got to do, right? You, yes, you got to be great. I just heard that in my head. You got to be great. But also, you got to vibrate at the same frequency. Empowerment. Well, that just flew out. All right, we're going to go with these. <clears throat> First set of cards are empowerment, friendship, and let, your, let yourself receive. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. Live in that power, that all-knowing. Where's my high priestess? Be the bad bitch. Be the bad... I don't know what's for a man. <laughs> be the bad motherfucker, period. Whether you're male or you're female. You are so much more powerful than you realize. Friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more of your friends. Finding that balance. Some of you guys are like in this new relationship and it's just like, ah, I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed. Sometimes we just take a little moment, a little breather, right? We have that honeymoon card here. Take a little breather from each other. It can be very helpful. Sometimes when you're with each other too much, oh, Lord, have mercy. Especially in the beginning. I mean, in the beginning, we want to be with them 24-7. We're obsessed. But having that time away from each other is really good. It's healthy. It's healthy. It allows you to miss them, right? It allows them to miss you. <clears throat> Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Some of you guys have problems with receiving <clears throat> in all things. Receiving help, meaning in money, love, relationships, advice. Some of you guys need the help some of you need it some of you really really need it not in a bad way i don't say that in a bad way but i say some of you guys just need to go out and have a wine night with your girls some of you guys you just go out and shoot freaking basketball hoops with the boys you know what i mean friendship balance anyways my beautiful cancerians this is your love June 2017 reading. If this resonates, please like and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, please click that box below and get all the info before you email me. Um, leave some comments, let me know, let others know. Anyways, I send you guys nothing but love and light and many blessings for the month of June. Thank you guys, bye-bye.